Hello, this is Jeffrey Fox again, and we're back to X Informatics. The study of big data and how it that big data becomes big information and big knowledge and big wisdom and big decisions in the multiple of fields. Here we're going to discuss uh, web search and related areas to that information retrieval. And we remember the usual rallying cry of this class that we use clouds, we run data analytics here, information retrieval algorithms. We do this collaboratively, processing big data, and we solve problems in the area of X informatics, which is here the area of what I sometimes call lifestyle informatics, um, what it takes to make people happy. The informatics of happiness and not but generally making life easier, life easier to live. Here are the fields that uh, are defined in it so far. And um, before we uh, get right into the subject, we just have a, a brief um, diversion, looking at a couple of web pages that um, survey data mining. And uh, this comes from this um, site given here from SiteCAD. And he has a, sir, a list of essentially all data mining areas. And if we look at where we've all we've done so far, physics area where we were studying the Higgs um, particle would be called exploration in the following graphs. Whereas the um, both the recommender systems and the information retrieval are more from the classification and clustering side. So, information retrieval is nearer recommender systems than it is the Higgs boson. Here's the first uh, part of the classification. And you can see we have exploration um, coming along here. We're exploring existing data and things like histograms, which were key to the uh, um, physics, chi square, maximum likelihood methods. Uh, scatter plots are used a lot in physics. These are the this sort of explore, exploration with rather um, broad, simple tools is the heart of that Higgs boson analysis. We also, of course, make models which we use to explain the histograms once we've discovered them. Here we have what well, actually has modeling here, but I don't think that's quite the same type of thing as we do in physics. Here, the modeling is actually the algorithm for analyzing the data. Because the physics has a lot of that, namely when we uh, look at the data in physics, we actually have to apply a lot of corrections to the data due to different uh, so-called acceptance uh, coefficients, because the data when it's taken, are not all events are equally probable to be recorded. So you try to correct for that. So there's a lot of substantial modeling before the data gets analyzed. But it's not of the type here where we're trying to uh, make a model of the data structure and build that into sophisticated analysis. Here we have clustering. Here we have classification. These are somewhat related concepts. And we have Kate nearest neighbor, that's what we had in recommender systems. And we actually saw the relationship between Kate nearest neighbor and clustering. Uh, Kate nearest neighbor allowed us to get the nearest uh, items near a particular item. Clustering allowed us to group items together so that all items in a given cluster were in fact near each other and were if not a particular value of K, where uh, could could be used in the same way as the Kate nearest neighbor algorithm. Here we have K means, which is the algorithm we uh, looked at. 